All right, ladies, I want to go over with you weeks seven, eight, and nine today. And so um, these are all the teachings on the Holy Spirit and give you some ideas how to go through those weeks on the teaching of the Holy Spirit. So if we start with week seven, um, that's the first teaching on the Holy Spirit. Again, remember, they're going to start be starting to read the book of Acts in their Bible reading plan. So they will read through that in the first week or two of your um study. So we, you can do it a couple of different ways. I would encourage you in week seven to go ahead and do an introduction on the Holy Spirit. Um, that would be a good place just to introduce it and talk about it. And, um, you know, you could spend 20, 25 minutes in the large group doing that and then still give them time in the small group because week seven is really, it's going to be really important for them to get some time where each of them have a chance to share about what God showed them about apologetics. Because in their homework, they're going, remember they were supposed to go and find something that they believed in um, biblical um, passages to back that up and then how to walk that out. So it's really important through the processing, to, just for them to process it, to not only have done it in their homework and seen it, but also to share it with the group. So I would encourage you in week seven to give them some time to do that, but you also want to start your teaching on the Holy Spirit. So have your large group be a time when you're going to introduce a new memory verse. You won't have a lot of time to spend on that, but you'll do that. And also they'll say their memory verse their number two memory verse to you, and then start on their third. And then um, also the introduction to the Holy Spirit and teaching on that. Again, that's in the leader's guide, and I made a video on and how to teach a little bit, how to teach that, and then let them go in their small groups so that they can be um, sharing their homework from the apologetics. Um, also, again, remember you want to continue to allow them to share of soaps if you have time on that and um, praying their memory verse together, talking about their memory verse if you have time. But the goal in week seven is teaching the Holy Spirit and talking about apologetics from their homework, all right? And then week eight, I would encourage you to take some time in the large group to do some follow-up talking about the Holy Spirit. Maybe there were some questions that were um, thought of or as they read the book of Acts. And so you can either do that in the large group or the small group, but at least the large group do some summary or review on the Holy Spirit or ask God to show you some things that you want to share that God should showed you about the Holy Spirit during that week of your reading in Acts or going over the homework. And so that way questions can be asked. Our goal is the Holy Spirit and the concept of the Holy Spirit working in our lives um, brings up some questions. So you want you want people to be able to ask questions and answer questions. If you don't know the answers, that at least knows what you know what they're asking and you can find out the answer before the next week because you'll be studying the Holy Spirit for three weeks. All right. Um, also, then on that section, they'll, they'll get into their small groups and they'll go over their homework together. Again, that processing piece where they talk out loud is really important um, in week eight. So have time to do that. And then week nine, you'll finish up the Holy Spirit and they will have a chance in week nine to go over their homework from week eight. And, and it has walked them through acts and asked some really specific questions that will bring up some good discussion for them to go over the homework questions from week eight in week nine and then also in week nine um you'll have one you'll kind of have the wrap up on the holy spirit but most of that time will probably be spent in small group but you can make you can see what works for you if there's a lot of questions and there's things that you feel like you need to go over as a whole group do that that's fine um you don't have to follow the time outlines exactly but it does give you some guidance on that and then their week nine homework really is just solidifying everything it gives the whole homework is just giving them scripture and having them go look up that scripture and talk about what that scripture says the Holy Spirit does in their lives. And so they'll be doing that week nine. And um, But that really kind of wraps it up so that week 10, you're ready to start in on prayer and you've finished your study on the Holy Spirit. All right. So um, seven, eight, and nine are all on the Holy Spirit. And you've got your leader's guide that I combined seven and eight on um, the prep on those on page 35. Um, and then you will go to page 37 to look at week nine. And it, the format starts just a little bit different in week nine. And it gives you some reminders that you have things you might need to know in week nine. And that's on page 37 of your leader's guide. And then on your timed outlines, it gives you some ideas about how you can walk through the Holy Spirit, large group, small group. But again, um, pray that God will lead you in that. The biggest thing is that... Um, 
you're teaching on the Holy Spirit and they're getting some understanding of that and they're digging deep and they're having time to process that out loud with the ladies in their group. So, all right, I'll be praying for you as you do your units on the Holy Spirit.